guys and welcome back to my channel and thanks again for watching so this look is going to be something that you can wear with your glasses I find that when I wear my glasses I can get away with wearing a lot more makeup so this is just for you but I'm gonna be using my Effaclar duo from La Roche Pose because I've been breaking out like a mofo honey so I'm just using this as a moisturizer to prep my skin for a makeup Alrighty then, so we're going to move on to primer and I'm using my usual pore minimizing primer by Smashbox and I'm just going to dab that all over my enlarged pores. Then I'm taking a new primer that I'm trying out which is by Cover FX. It's our mattifying primer with anti-acne treatment in it. Uh, I believe it's salicylic acid that it has. I won't say the percentage because I'm not sure and I don't want to misguide any of you but it's a great product. And then I'm going to be taking my M40 uh, cover cream foundation by Cover FX with my Sigma brush, which I've been absolutely loving. I find that it does a lot better with foundations that are heavier than, say, thinner. Um, it's just because it's such a dense brush. So I really like using it for powders and for thick, creamy foundations like these. And as you can see, I'm just buffing it into my face. And FYI, the reason I am wearing this foundation is because of my zits that I want to uh, cover. And this pretty much is the most highly pigmented foundation on the market. And just a disclaimer, all the products that I'm using today will be listed below. And I'm also wearing another pair of my colored contacts in Caribbean Aqua. And these ones are my absolute fave. And for my brows, I'm taking my Elizabeth Arden Beautiful Color Eyebrow Pencil in Brownette, which I just finished and I'm so sad that I did. But then after that, I'm gonna take my Anastasia Dip Brow, which I still have mounds of. I love this stuff. I think it will actually last me forever. My color is in chocolate. Then no surprise here, taking my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. I'm going to shape my brows and then also bring it down onto my lid to prime my eyelids for eyeshadow. Then I'm taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in 001 Transparent my usual powder that I use to just set my eyelids and then I'm gonna take my MAC soft brown eyeshadow and use that as my transition color and then I'm going to be taking my cherry smoke palette by Smashbox which I'm absolutely in love with and I just took the color rustic and I'm just putting that all over my crease and then I'm going to be taking oxidize and same thing just putting it on my lid and then I'm taking shell and I'm going to be putting this on the middle part of my lid and then to the end and then just to darken up the crease a little bit more I'm taking my E25 blending brush with the shade rustic once again then I'm taking ebony and then I'm just gonna place that just at the very outer edges of my eye just to really darken it up and just kind of finalize the eyeshadow and I guess I forgot to film this part, but I used Bare from the Cherry Smoke palette and put that on my brow bone with an E30 pencil brush from Sigma. And then I took a Clarins Shimmery White eyeshadow and just placed it in the inner corner of my eye. Then taking my Smashbox gel liner in deep black, I'm going to be just lining the my upper lid and also making a slight wing to elongate my eyes. I really like to do wings when I am wearing glasses because it just elongates the eye and it looks really good with glasses. I'm not really sure why, but I just like to do it. Then I'm taking my Cover FX Matte Setting Powder in Medium, and this is what I'm going to be putting all over my face. I do use the light quite often, but that's usually only with my concealer because it is quite a lot lighter. Then I'm taking my Clarence Instant Concealer in 01 Fair. This is definitely my favorite concealer at the moment. Super light in consistency and you get so much uh, product for your buck. And I'm basically just highlighting my face. I'm also doing this new technique where I put it um, just below the hollows of my cheek and that will highlight my contour for when I put my bronzer on. 
And now I'm just taking a beauty blender to blend it all out. Then I'm taking my Cover FX bronzer in bronze and I'm going to be contouring my face. So I'm starting with the hollows of my cheeks, my nose, very loosely um, doing that, and then the chin to make my lips appear even bigger, <laughs> and then my forehead. And then I'm taking this Cabana Boy blush by The Balm, which I haven't used in ages, and I thought, why the hell not? Because it's such a beautiful color and I haven't used it in forever and it just goes with this look really good. And then I'm taking my NARS Albatross highlighter, which is a beautiful kind of golden, um, it's kind of hard to, kind of almost iridescent uh, highlighter and I absolutely love it. And then I'm taking my BH Cosmetics stippling brush to blend all of my face makeup. Then I'm taking my Milani black liner and just putting that in my waterline. Now I'm taking my Pressed Mineral Foundation in N10 by Cover FX, and this is what I'm going to use to set my concealer. This is a new technique I've been doing. It basically just really dramatizes the highlight. And then I'm using the color Rustic again from the Cherry Smoke Palette and placing that on my lower lash line to really smoke out the look. And then I'm just curling my lashes and using my Be Long Mascara in Black by Clarins. Definitely, definitely my favorite mascara. Love this stuff. I'm gonna probably gonna get it again and again because I just love it. And then I'm taking my Chanel Lip Liner in Peach Melba, which is quite moisturizing. It's not like most where it's um, matte. It gives you a matte finish. It gives you kind of a shimmery almost and definitely one of my favorite peachy um, lip liners and I'm just going to fill in my lips with that product then I'm taking Clarins orange fizz um, lipstick and I'm just placing that all over my lips then I'm taking my color your smile lip tinted lip gloss in salmon by Gerard cosmetics and just placing that as the final touch to my lip gloss look then i'm going to put my glasses on because of course this is what the tutorial is for and the look is complete i know the orange was a little bit of a surprise so if you are into it awesome if you're not here is the other lip look that you can do if you're a little bit more of a sultry kind of gal this is the Stila Stay All Day Lipstick in Amor. And this is, I went with this one actually because I thought it was really cute. I didn't film it unfortunately, so I'm really sorry about that. But if you like the look overall, then please give me a thumbs up. And thank you again for watching and tuning in this week. And I love you guys.